Hello everyone, welcome back. In the previous video, we have learned what query folding is. And in this video, I have promised you all that I'll be coming up with practical example. I'll be explaining you the practical example of how this query folding is used in Power BI. So without any delay, let's get started. My screen here, I created a simple Power BI report. It's a blank report and and I've already connected to a SQL Server uh, database and the table name is sales.order. Okay, let's say I don't have a um, customer name in the database saved anywhere. Usually that's not the case, that won't happen. You'll have the customer name also, but just let's just assume that there's no customer, uh, there's no customer name saved anywhere in the database instead they gave it to us in a text file and we are not allowed to load that into the database for some reason for some reason you are not allowed it uh, not allowed to load it into a um, into the database so now i want to so now i want to connect to a text file as a new data source i want to connect to the data source text file and get that text file into my uh, Power BI report. Okay, let's see how to do that. Go to get data here. And I'm connecting to a text file. And this is the text file I just created. Open. Okay, I have customer ID and customer name in this text file. I'm loading this. Okay, my text file data has been loaded. Now, now what I want to do is, I want to, if you look at the um, data here, sales, I have order ID, customer ID, status, order name, ship date, okay. And now, I have, in the, in the text file data source, from, from that uh, data set, what do we have? We have customer ID and customer name. So, I want to join this sales order and this uh, new data set, new text data set we uh, just created. And I want to add the customer name column to this data set, okay? So for that, to adding another column from a different data set, you merge the two data sets, okay? So for that, open this um, sales order data set and edit and click on the edit query. And I want to merge the queries now. Okay, I click on the merge queries here. And here in this drop box, I can see all the available uh, data sets. So I want to merge the sales orders with query folding. Example, this is the data set name. And I want to join by customer ID. So you click on customer IDs. So when you click on them, that means you are joining by those columns. I'm just cancelling this privacy levels, and it's a left out, uh, and it's a left outer join because we don't have um, all all customer IDs. So I just said left outer join, and I'm saying okay. Okay, we have this. Uh, we need to expand this one. So I'm just selecting customer name here okay so now I so now I added the customer name column here now let's say um, someone came to me and they said uh, I I don't want um, I don't want ship date just let's say someone comes to you and say uh, they don't want uh, this ship date column so you remove this column here okay so this is so this is the final data set and let's see where the uh, and now let's see if query folding really happened or not so the first one is rename column i renamed the column order id to order date in the previous if you if you want to check how to that, do that we did in, we did that in the previous video you can uh, go there and check it uh, you click on the rename column you have this view native query here yeah it is query folded because you see the select query here, it is query folder, and keep first rows. I I I set uh, get talking. Even this is query folded. 
go to merged queries here you see this this part is let me show you so you see this here view native query is uh, view native query is grayed out here that means this is not query folded this is grayed out that means you are not able to see the um, query the source query that means it's not query folded and all the steps after this will be grayed out because once uh, because if at one step the query is not folded the next steps also will not be query folded okay so all of them are not query folded why are they not query folded because uh, the main source is sql server and the other source we bought is text text file both of them are not compatible so the main part of mashup engine is to take back the uh, query take back the actual job if you are renaming it take it back to source and rename it at the source level but because these are not compatible files these are completely different files the mashup engine is not able to query fold so what happens is when when majority of so um, when majority of steps here are not query folded that creates a bad impact on the performance so if someone comes to you and says the performance of the power bi report is not good then you go to um, you go to this um, power query editor and you check for these query folding steps if something is not query folded you try you try to minimize uh, the you try to minimize the number of steps that are not query folded so here is because because here in this case we have to merge the queries because we don't have customer name in the database and it's in the text file so we have to merge uh, the two sources to get the customer name to the uh, power bi report but you can do it as the last step here here we have the remove columns right so you can remove the column first and then later do the merge query so you can change the orders so that the uh, uh, the so that the steps that are not query folded come to the last okay that way uh, that way you will improve the performance of power bi report usually in real world there won't be 10 records there won't be 100 records there will be millions of records even the uh, one step even one step like removing columns can make a lot of impact to the performance of the report so what we'll do now is we'll delete this step delete this step we'll delete this step and what what we'll do is we'll and i remove the steps until um, i remove the steps until the query is not folded so these are all the columns i have okay and i'm going to now I remove the column here and I can see the query here okay I can see the query that the ship date is removed okay and now add in the keep rows I want to get on the top rows top 10 rows I'm seeing the query here okay now let's now let's merge the queries merge with the text file on customer id okay and i want to have so now i remove the column which is query folded and now i don't have i have the customer name added here and now after the merge query i just have one step and the remote column step we moved it to the top and that way we improve the performance of the report so so as a final note when when someone comes to you and they say that the performance of query of uh, the performance of the power bi report is not great then you go to the power query editor and you try to minimize the steps that are not query folded even one step can make a lot of difference in real world 
I think this is helpful. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Haven't subscribed to my channel yet. Please do subscribe. See you in the next video.